we have this rod which is hinged on the top and a small particle hits it at the bottom and sticks to it naturally the rod will start to turn and as a result it goes to a maximum angle of alpha we need to find what is the velocity of the flying bullet what is the momentum increment of the system and at what distance x from the upper end of the rod the bullet must strike for the momentum of the system to remain constant now even before we start this problem let's see read this line again the momentum increment in the system now the mass is hitting it here do you think the momentum can increase if he is asking for the increment or you might get the negative value so just think about it is it possible that the momentum can increase so now let's do the problem velocity of the bullet so just like a lot of problems in classical mechanics we are going to do the conservation of angular momentum and conservation of energy now again you might be thinking how can we conserve energy if this is an inelastic collision <laughs> well we are conserving the energy after the collision all right so <laughs> energy when it is already stuck so that is this moment and when the rod swings to its maximum angle alpha so between these two moments we are conserving energy not between this and this so anyway let's conserve angular momentum so about the hinge initially it is mvl and if it starts to rotate by omega then final is ml square by 3 omega so here this is an approximation because in the moment of inertia we are neglecting the contribution of moment of inertia of small mass and then final energy is equal to initial energy so initial energy is half i omega square so i is again ml square by 3 we are neglecting this and the center of mass of this rod would have lifted by l by 2 1 minus cos theta so the kinetic energy has turned into potential energy and that is mgl by 2 1 minus cos theta so we have these two equations and two variables omega and v so we solve that and we find the value of v which they asked in the first part now second part we need to find the change in momentum so now we are talking about case this case and this case so change in momentum between these two cases so initial momentum is mv and final momentum is because the center of mass will be traveling by omega l by 2 so final momentum is m omega l by 2 so change in momentum is m omega l by 2 minus mv so again this is an approximation when we have to if you if you want to add here small m into omega into l that is negligible compared to this term so that's why we are neglecting that so we put the value of omega from here so so these are two equations two variables right so from here if you what whatever we got the value of omega we put that here the velocity velocity value we put here and we get this result which comes to be positive which means the momentum has actually increased so those of you who might be thinking then when the particle strikes here the reaction force will always be opposite you are wrong so in this case the the reaction force is actually towards right so you can imagine like this because the particle suppose there were no hinge and if there were no hinge if the particle strikes here so the rod will start to rotate like this so now you can imagine that the actual velocity of the stop point of the rod is towards left and if that is the case the the hinge is preventing that that means the hinge will put a force towards right and that impulse to the rod and uh, rod and particle system so that impulse from the hinge reaction will cause an increment in momentum and that's what happened here so that's what i have written here momentum change is caused by reaction force on rod by hinge it's positive therefore hinge force is towards right now let's see the c part at what distance x from the top 
द बुलेट मस्ट स्ट्राइक सच दैट द मोमेंटम रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट सो लेट से दैट हैपन्स वेन इट स्ट्राइक्स एट डिस्टेंस एक्स सो नाउ वी आर एज्यूमिंग दैट द मोमेंटम ऑन दीज टू सिस्टम्स इज सेम सो इनिशियल मोमेंटम इज एम वी एंड फाइनल मोमेंटम इज ऑफकोर्स एम वी सी एम दैट इज ओमेगा डैश एल बाई टू सो दिस इक्वेशन सो एम वी इज इक्वल टू एम ओमेगा डैश एल बाई टू एंड बिकॉज देर आर टू वेरिएबल्स हियर सॉरी देर इज अ सिंगल वेरिएबल ओमेगा डैश हियर बट वी नीड एक्स सो एंगल मोमेंटम विल कंजर्व अबाउट ओ सो एम वी एक्स इज इक्वल टू अबाउट ओ आई ओमेगा so with these two equations we are going to get the value of x that comes to be 2l by 3 now just <laughs> i just can see that it's it would have been better if i were put the value of omega dash in this equation that would have made the calculation simpler it doesn't matter something i must be thinking at that time so we got the value of x is equal to 2l by 3 so you can see that it depends only on the length of rod it's independent of small mass of mass of the rod or velocity of the bullet so whatever strikes this rod at a distance of 2l by 3 the momentum of the rod particle system is going to remain same and what we saw previously in b part is if we strike below then momentum increases so now you can imagine if you still strike above this point then momentum will decrease and you can imagine also that if it is near to the hinge joint and you strike with the particle then the hinge reaction will be towards left and that will reduce the momentum but you strike it at the end then this rod will try this top end of the rod will try to try go towards left so hinge force will be towards right so on the rod particle system net force net impulse is towards right so it will increase the momentum so that's what i have written here let's quickly read if bullet hits about 2l by 3 hinge force is towards left if bullet hits at 2l by 3 hinge force is zero or point o dash initial velocity would be zero even without hinge so you can imagine right if it hits at this distance x equal to 2l by 3 this point momentarily will be at rest even without the hinge that's why even if the hinge is present it won't contribute to any impulse and that's why the momentum will remain unchanged and finally if the bullet hits below 2l by 3 hinge force forces towards right that will contribute is increment in momentum all right